guys hey 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 i'm back with another video so today we're gonna be finessing this silk dress that i got from the thrift store i think with somebody old nightgown or something but anyway we're gonna turn it into something cute and sexy the first thing you want to do is lay your dress down i'm taking something that fits the way i like and i'm just gonna lay it on there and trace out the pattern if you're using something that's stretchy um leave extra room for seam allowance and yeah so you just want to trace it all the way around so i'm just gonna pin down where i made my marks and this is a perfect time to try this on because you definitely don't want to start cutting and sewing stuff without trying it on so with pinning it allows you to try it on once you pin it all the way around and it fits the way you like go ahead and cut the extra fabric then you want to go and do a straight stitch where the pins are all the way down i recommend you cut it before you start sewing because silk is kind of you know very silky and it moves a lot so it just made it a lot easier to um cut the extra fabric then so so after you do the straight stitch i'm gonna go ahead and do a zigzag stitch and that's just going to keep it from fraying so this is how it turned out you guys and it fits perfectly so now we're going to make it um the length that we want so i'm just cutting where I made my mark and I actually made it a little too short. It's still cute and I like it. And sorry if my voice sounds a little rough. Your girl getting sick. But once you cut it, you're gonna make a fold hem at the bottom. I love doing a fold hem. This is it gives it like this clean finished look, and you do not see the raw edges, and it's just very professional and nice. So you're just basically gonna fold it over once like that, and then you're gonna fold it over again. So a fold hem, and you're just going to pin. Once you get done pinning, that is how it looks. And now you're just going to do a straight stitch all the way around. And that is what I'm doing right now. You guys, I just really love the roll hem. I promise you will love it too. So clean and finished and nice. So once you get done with that, that is how it should look. And you're basically done. Um, my dress is done. It fits perfectly. I just have to do a few adjustments. Like the little bows got to go because I just don't like them. And my straps were a little too long, so I'm gonna seam rip the bow and take a few inches off the strap. So that's what I'm doing right now, just seam ripping my little bow. And I'm gonna take a few inches off my straps just to make them fit better. And if you're taking your straps in, make sure you try this part in on before you, um, before you sew it. So I'm just going to fold the end of my straps and then just place it on, basically line it up where my original straps were and use that as a guide and sew that down. So that is how it looks after it was sewn and then you're basically done. So now it's time to make the casing for the string part. So I'm just cutting out a, basically a rectangle. I think it was 11 inches long. Um, four inches wide but you can make it however long you want it to be and I'm just gonna pin it down the side in the middle so you got you want um, three lines basically three straight lines okay and um, that's what I'm doing and I'm just gonna sew that down just doing a straight stitch on the side in the middle and on the other side so basically three straight lines and do not sew the top part so that is how it looks so you should have two opening at the top and two little open at the bottom for the drawstring so that is what I'm making right now it's a drawstring um, I think mine's were like 28 inches long but you can make it however long that you want so now I'm just gonna fold it over you want to make sure that you're putting the right side facing each other because you're gonna be turning this um, right side like back and down so just make sure if that makes any sense the right sides are already facing each other so the wrong side is showing so I'm just gonna pin all the way down and once you do that you should have something like this now it's time to sew just doing a straight stitch all the way down and I also did go back in and do a zigzag stitch just to keep it from fraying so it can have a nice look so that is how it turned out. Now I'm gonna take my string inverter. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I think it didn't cost no more than $5. And you just wanna put it through your string and use that little loop. Hook the little loop and then just pull it through. It's so easy and it just saves you a lot of time. So get you one, okay? 
okay so you're gonna pull it all the way through and then take the hook off and you should be able to just invert your string and that is how it looks now we're going to feed it through the um, hole I'm just using a safety pin and then you're just gonna feed it through all the way up back down the hole so just bring it down so once you feed it through you're basically done and you're just gonna do a tie like a little bow tie and that's it and this is the before y'all remember ugly oversized and after perfect for like a little date night super sexy or whatever okay you can do this to any silk dress that you have and yep that is it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video peace